President William Ruto in his State House address today outlined plans to overhaul Kenya's legal framework to ensure corruption cases are greatly diminished within six months. These new measures with reforms to protect whistleblowers and enhance transparency in public procurements aims to restore trust in governance for Kenyans who have been intensely criticizing his leadership. President Ruto outlined measures to be taken to accelerate progress in fighting corruption, which included proposed amendments to key laws, including the Evidence Act and Criminal Procedure Code, aiming to expedite investigations and ensure cases conclude within six months. Ruto also listed changes to the Witness Protection Act, seeking to enhance safety for whistleblowers and facilitate easier reporting of corruption and criminal activities. I will be proposing amendments to the Evidence Act and the Criminal Procedure Code, among other necessary legislative amendments to all statutes relating to corruption, to expedite investigations and prosecution of corruption and economic crimes cases, and provide for their conclusion within six months. The head of state further highlighted proposed amendments to the Public Finance Management Act, Public Procurement and Disposal Act aimed to combat corruption and improve transparency. The initiative promises a digital infrastructure for real-time visibility from contract advertisement to payment details, ensuring accountability in public spending. We shall also be proposing amendments to the Witness Protection Act to overhaul the statutory and institutional framework to protect and incentivize whistleblowers and enhance witness protection, making it easier and safer for citizens to come forward and report corruption as well as other criminal activities. Ruto also urged Parliament to pass a conflict of interest bill to uphold integrity in governance, warning of potential vetoes for inadequate measures. Addressing concerns over tax expenditure, he plans reforms to ensure transparency in the allocation of 400 billion Kenya shillings annually, aiming to redirect savings to productive sectors. The government will also work with Parliament to tighten legislation to reduce and eliminate imports of goods and products already manufactured in Kenya so as to promote a value addition our manufacturing and industrialization program in our quest to create more jobs, create more opportunities, and create wealth. Ruto's move comes at a time when the general public continues to amplify their voice, insisting on the importance of transparency and good leadership. Victor Washira, KUTV.